but we also have a few questions coming in, Justin and some others, around this particular area. The, the Bible claims that we are created in the image of God, male and female. Can either of you speak to the evolving conversation regarding gender? So there's the integrity, disability, and diversity. I have a question with that, and the question is, why are there only three models? Why can't there be a fourth one? And call it the transversity model, where the transcendent truth of what is ultimate has to apply to what is present and how you interpret it. What do I mean by that? Mm -hmm. You see, when God described your body and mine, the, the word today is, you know, anatomy is not destiny. But interestingly, in the eyes of God, what he said about the anatomy is this. You are the temple of the living God. I'm a temple. And the restrictions placed on me are pretty tough because as a man, you are tempted. You have the proclivities, you have the allurements. You work with the eyes and your eyes seduce you. You're a young teenager, you're struggling with exploration and all this kind of stuff. Anybody who denies it has just not lived a real life. It's reality to face this. But I'm given boundaries by God. Boundaries I don't necessarily like or want. I'm told what I can and cannot do with this body. And uh, my feelings don't come into question at that time. My oughtness is brought before me. So whatever our bodies are inclined to, we are given intention before expression. Expression cannot be the guiding light of how we behave. Intention has to be the guiding beacon by which we go. We are all seduced in directions counter to what we know we ought to do. Yes, in some cases it is deeper, but it is not any less real. When, you are, when you're a traveling man and you live half your life alone, you know what temptations are, you know how real they are. And yet I'm commanded by God not to move in that direction, but to honor him because he wishes to live in this body. So whatever you are battling, here's what I say to you. Invite him to live within you. That is to be his residence. And then let the one who occupies that building tell you how to manage it and how to live with it. And he calls us to be followers. Thank you both.